So we have seen some functions in the previous video. Now let's talk about more functions that are going to be more useful than the number functions and string functions. Um, some of them being the date functions. So if I, let, let me just go ahead and say select everything from my orders. Now if you look at my orders, I have dates. So I have the ship date and I have the order date. Now if I say give me the processing time of each order. So what is the processing time? It's the time in between the, the date you ordered and the date that the order got shipped. Okay. And there is a, a good function that's called date diff. So let me say um, select order ID and let me just have the dates in there just for you to relate okay so I'll have the order ID and I will have uh, order date followed by um, ship date Now I need the date difference between those two. So I'll say, okay, follow this by date diff. Okay, so date diff is going to require two dates. So I'll say, okay, give me the difference between the ship date and the order date. So as you can see, this is a negative number because these are some stupid dates right here. So we, we just put this as um, a big date. Basically, it got shipped before it got ordered. Now, this is one occasion where you can use absolute value, but you don't want to use absolute value or something like this. But see, for example, this order, we have this, the order date as the same day of the ship date. So we got zero. And then we see here, so the order got placed in 2004, April 9th, and then it got shipped the next year, so it is going to give you the number of days. So this is basically going to give you the number of days between two dates. Now, uh, another one is called cur date, which is going to give you the current date. So I can say, okay, Give me the time between the order date and today. So how long did I order that order? So I can just provide this right here. So occur date. Okay. And it's going to pull today's date. And it's going to compare it. To prove that, let me just take this out and, sh and show you this. Select uh, cur date and if I run this it's going to say it's April 5th 2020 and if I go here it's April 5th 2020 so it is going to pull the date of your current day and uh, there are some more functions than these when we're talking about um, dates, you can divide everything by day, month, and year. Okay, so let me show you an example. Select, uh, let's first start with order date from orders. Okay, so this is going to give me everything in one column. If I want to divide them up, I can just do this. Okay. So I will get the order date. And I want in the second column to have the year of my order date. And then I want to have the month. Of my order date. And then I want to have the day of my order date. So this is going to have them separated. So if I look at this, 2031, March 9th, 
then the year is 2031 the month is March the day is the 9th and this is going to be to allow me to divide um, my dates now if you look at it like this it's not that useful it's very useful however when it comes to the where clause so let me show you this if I want to get all the orders in the year 2001 so I'll say select star from orders where the year or um, yeah or the year of my order date is equal to 2001 because if I say to, to the the order date is equal to 2001 see now I got everything that's ordered in 2001 but let me just do this if I say order date alone is equal to 2001 I got nothing because this is a number and this is a date data type that is why I'm not getting anything as a result